That was right. grimy to me. But we won't go down that path. That's like a I, conversation like for Like I said before, day. it's protect yourself at all times. I got to bet, yes. Uh, that was grimy. And I feel like it's grimy in a there, cash but, game. But, to say you got me or you got it or I can't call or any of these uh, sorts it, of it, things. If you look somebody in the eyes yes. and you're like, you got oh, me, and then man. you get a read and you're, no, you don't oh, call. Man. Yes, it's a little grimy, but at the so same mean. time, I wouldn't do it. I'm not advocating for angle shots, but it is protect yourself at all times. So fair I would foul. always say, foul in an icky moral way. <laughs> Fair in a technical way? I, I, I don't know if it can be defined with just the fair and foul. It's gross, but it is protect yourself at all times. Be, make sure they fold if you're out there, if you're not sure. Makita's you know? not looking to protect himself as he has flatted Negranu's 5K open with two nines, or perhaps hey, it is in the interest of protecting himself. No. Or his chips, mind. rather. Can really do not looking to bloat it pre. Well, it right. like either bet in the dark or check in the dark, but none makes sense. Bet in the dark would be sick. Neither makes sense. Like throw up 15K? That'd be sick. <laughs> 15 just bet bot in the dark? <laughs> I don't know, man. I have to look. See what we are playing the super high roller bowl, playing 1,000, 2,000 blinds with 60 big blind <laughs> effective stacks. Down to Granu, he's playing a little loosey-goosey, not having a sandwich, but seems to be acting like he's loosey-goosey having a sandwich. He raises it up with the Jack Ten of Hearts. Makita Batzakowski with pocket nines, also in early position, opts to call, as you should. Pairs, even the middle ones, just want to see the flop. If you re-raise and then get four bet, it is a disaster. So call and see the flop. A bunch of other decent hands end up folding, and we... See the flop two ways. Okay, we've got some to work with here, right? You and me. Let's go. We got sixes, we got sevens, we got eights, we got straight draws, we got flush draws, we got all kinds. So, what we got to do here is Check. put one blue chip in. Oh. Go ahead. Oh, five nine. I can think of a one card blue, that would create please. some spiciness. Or more. It's up to you. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Definitely. Hey, that, of course, the king of clubs. <laughs> okay, I know. I'm not asking for advice. And the next table break. Yeah, I did though. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> nice table. Oh man. You don't like that bet. So, I so can't ask him. <laughs> it is the next time. Okay. okay. In the event that we break it, it's against the rules. Rules. Bad ways is options. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You should. He said, I'm so 16. Okay, fine. We, we 16,000. This guy, I knew it. I knew this freaking right, floppy was going Daniel calls. No, Daniel. Oh, under the gun. Don't do it to me, man. Kind of wrapping up good here. Cards. He can oh. have some of the stuff like Woo. this, but. Give me what I need. Flop oh. comes. 876. Negranu has a gut shot to the nuts. Makita has an overpair and an open into straight draw. Both players basically have the nuts here. Negranu plays it like the nuts. He bets 5,000. Makita plays it like the nuts. He raises it to 16,000. Negranu can't really fold here. Given Makita has about 92,000 left, I think he's getting pretty good implied odds to try to improve to either a straight top pair or a backdoor straight draw. So I think Negranu probably needs to stick around. This is a spot where I think a lot of players fold way too quickly. We have to realize if you are against one pair, you're in fine shape. And if you do happen to be against something like a set and you do improve to a straight, you're going to be somewhat likely to win some money. You do have to be a little bit careful when you do turn a jack or a 10 if your opponent still wants to put in a lot of money because they could have a straight or set. But I think you have to continue. I do like Makita's raise size, by the way. A lot of people in the spot raise smaller or gigantic. And this is a nice size because it actually puts Negranu in a pretty uncomfortable scenario having to put in 11,000 more with only 92 behind. Anyway, Negranu calls. Let's head to the turn. Does have some big pairs yeah. here, given this line. And oh, oh so we'll <laughs> wow. In okay. she comes. And the ground who knuckles, by the way, yeah. turns well, the stone sure. nuts. And <laughs> it's going to look a lot like he's worried about the four liner here with his range. Of course. The ground can have 10 10. He can have the jack 10 suited. So good. I think Bats bets this. Nick. It's a great hand. We see. Yeah, buddy. A little under a three to one dog running into the absolute of disaster bazooka of the world. You think he just checks back so yes, he can call all bets on the end? Ace is king. Granu turns the literal nuts. Does have some big pairs yeah. here. See if you can spot it. And snap checks. Should he ever lead with the literal nuts? Uh, probably not. A lot of Makita's raising range on the flop is going to be gut shots containing a 10 that he thinks are maybe not quite good enough to call. So. I think this is a pretty reasonable spot to check. Also, Negranu is not opening too many hands containing a 10 that will bet and then call a raise on this flop. Like, say he did have 
queen 10 offsuit. He's probably supposed to just let it go without the backdoor flush draw and the straight draw to the nuts. So I don't think Negreanu is actually gonna have all that many 10s. So if you in Negreanu shoes don't have that many 10s and your opponent will have a lot of 10s, or even if it's something like 50-50, where you both have a decent number of 10s or no 10s, usually that's the spot where you want to check. And Negreanu does check. Makita makes an interesting check behind, which I think is good. This is a spot where if he bets and gets raised, it is miserably bad, even with top set, because Negreanu could have a 10, right? He could also check raise all in with some draws. And uh, I don't think that's the spot you really want to be in in Makita's shoes. I think a much better play is to just check it back and do everything you can to try to get full value from Negreanu's overpairs, which I do think will be a lot of his range in this situation. So check, check on the turn. Let's go to the river. We're now bowing out. So hard. We might okay. be well oh. served to check. <laughs> Nine's full yeah. on the well, end. Well, the turn Mikita brought it away. The, turn oh, the river one. brings it back in. And uh, yeah, tough one for Daniel. Switch it up now. It's, it's actually going to be tough for Daniel to give Makita credit for a boat. The nut straight is, is strong here. Not that many boats, are we? Exactly right. Yeah, it's very strong. <laughs> <laughs> I played good cards. I That's true. You've had some very Pretty good cards. Pretty good cards. <laughs> yeah, cards. 60,000. That's really bad news for me. 60? Ooh, I was going to do it to you, really, for real, on the turn. Yep. I was really going to do it to you on the turn. Hmm. All right, I need a minute for this one. Six if he folds this, Ali, uh, I'll be pretty oh, blown 16, away. 16, 32. The river is a disaster. For Daniel DeGranu, he's going to lose a bunch of chips. The only question is how much he opts to check, which I think is good. He could potentially make a small bet on the river. I like a really tiny bet in this spot because if you bet really tiny, a lot of one pair hands will find a hero call getting amazing odds. You may even be able to induce a bluff if you bet tiny. Checking's cool too, though. I don't have a problem with checking. So Negreanu does check, and Makita, after a while, puts in 60,000, a little bit more than the size of the pot and about half of his chips. So, facing this bet, I want to know what would you do in this situation if you were Negranu? Would you fold? Would you call? Or would you put them all in? Take a second, think about it, write in the comment section below, and let's see what the master Negranu does. Well, none of that matters. You either got it or you, either got it or you don't. The question is, what, the, what could you have that... It is under the gun, under the gun one. Full house makes Guarding a lot of sense, right? Seven like, handed. I'm going to use one of these because I'm going to take my time. So, full house. Which full house? Let's see. Sevens or eight? Sevens or sixes? Sixes or sevens. You would check back the turn for sure. 60,000 now. Um, hmm. I think my hand might be too good to fold, but. Hmm, ho hum. Let it go one time, Daniel. What do you have, though? Raise me on that slot. Not that, because you bet that. Yeah, I think you just have a full house, bro. Whoa. Or a really solid, crazy next level bluff. Or maybe you just have a 10. That's the thing. Weird. I still haven't made up my mind yet, so I'll use it. No, he comes with a right. second Take time extension. Sure. So, <coughs> I raised, that was the button, so I was under the gun here. Good player. Good, good player. If you bet less, I would have paid a long time ago. 60 into 47. I'm trying to win, like you said. I'm trying to win. Otherwise, I wouldn't use two of those. 10 seconds. Oh, do it, Daniel. What a fall. Oh, wow. I thought you had sevens or sixes. Fours? Find out. Six, seven. Beauty. The master Negranu somehow, some way, soul reads pretty stoic Makita and folds the straight. No one at the table can believe it. <laughs>
I can't believe it even watching it here. What a fold. Sometimes these excellent live pros just know. Something doesn't feel right, and you know, these players do something that I am maybe not so confident enough to do. They actually make the fold. It's hard to make the fold here, especially when everyone's watching you. The nice thing about this hand is that Negreanu can watch it later, know if he got it right or wrong, but look, this is uh, a, either a super nitty fold or a super amazing fold. I'm not sure which. And congrats to Negreanu because he saved a whole bunch of chips. That's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this hand. If you want another fun hand where Patrick Antonius makes a sick soul read, make sure you check that one out. It'll be somewhere around here for you to click. Good luck in your games. Have fun. Speaking of clicking stuff, click the like and subscribe buttons down there below before you leave. That lets the YouTube robots know that you like me. Good luck. Have fun. And I will talk to all of you next time.